Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I'm standing here behind the 4020. And today we have the Rhino 70 series 7007 Rhino blade hooked up to the 4020. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be grading Travis's driveway especially, but I'm also gonna do the one here at Rockville real quick. Uh, it is washed out, I see. But um, Travis's place needs it really bad, he said. So we are going to take this down there and we are going to be grading the driveway. I'm gonna head over there to the driveway and start uh, running it up and down just to get it all smoothed back out. If we get another heavy rain, might do it again. Every now and then we have to do this. driveway is not perfect but I'm not aiming for perfection either I'm down here now and I'm going to go up the right side of the driveway and come down the left side of the driveway so that way I am pulling the gravel in going up and then I'm pulling it in coming down and then when I I'm gonna reverse it and go the other way so that way it pushes the gravel back out after pulling it in hopefully this way I can pull the gravel in and then push it back out to fill all of the ditches alongside the road because what happens is when it we get a lot of rain the rain always creates ditches alongside the driveway so usually we end up having to do this at least once a year it's not too bad right now but best not let it get away from us either back down it that way I just kind of create it so it's nice and smooth and fill any of the leftover small holes that I haven't gotten yet I think that's a lot better than when I started There's always going to be 
a little bit of drainage going on here and ditches are always going to be made just because of how the driveway is. So, I think that's about good for now. So we just got back up to Rockville. Seems alright. I don't have a problem with it. Now, it has bolts in here along the digging edge and you can actually reverse that entire plate so let's say you use it for so many years this edge starts to get worn down you can flip it around and then there's a whole new sharp edge right here we did that on the john deere blade before we got this one and it really increased how much it dug down it really made a difference looks like i gotta do a little bit here too before i back in the shed but I'll be the first to admit that I'm really not that good at grading gravel. Um, I don't know. I'm. I could just need more practice with it. I mean, it's not like pushing snow. When you're moving the gravel, it's a lot tougher to move around and get to where you want it to be. So, you know, someone out there is thinking it's just pushing gravel. How complicated can that be? Yeah, true. But when I do it, I don't make it look very gorgeous. You could say so. Yep. At least it's built heavy. I feel like the John Deere blade would have been broken by now. Like it was last year before we got this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of pull the gravel back up here. And then I'm going to back it in the shed. Call it quits. So thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, we got quite a bit of rain.